What is going on guys, Fitcho here and welcome back to the Fitcho Cruise, episode number 8 is round 4, race 2, we are back in Azerbaijan around the streets of Baku for the sprint race today on Sunday. Yesterday's feet race did not go to plan for us, we qualified in 11th, then we made a great run up the field in that first stint, getting up to about 3rd place, we were fighting for 3rd. And then our two-stop strategy didn't quite work out with a fair few one-stoppers actually jumping us. And we dropped down to about seventh and then a hard fought. We fought really hard at the end, but we ended up dropping down to tenth. And we only scored one point. It wasn't the ideal run yesterday in the feature race, but today the strategy will play less of a role to almost no role, like it always does in the sprint race. It's going to be all about pure pace and actual ability to fight through the field. And I think that first stint in yesterday's feature race Shows that we have the ability to push through the field and make up position. So, I think we are in for a decent chance here. I think we should be able to get points in today's sprint race. I hope we can. I guess we're going to find out. It's time to jump into one-shot qualifying for the sprint race. Here we go. One-shot qualifying in Baku for today's sprint race. As we head down towards turn number one. Hard on the brakes. Turn the car and clip the apex. And try not to run it wide into the wall. We exit the first corner in the lead. We come down to turn two. We pinch the front left brake, which is not what you want going into that corner. As now we've dropped from first down to 21st, 22nd, even as we head down towards turn three. And Luca Giotto is actually leading. As we come down towards turn number three as late as we can possibly go on the brakes. And we're up into 15th places now through turn four. Take a fair bit of curb. Careful again. On the exit, you don't want to spin the wheels up, which is very easy to do at this track. Now turn five and flick right for six. And we've actually managed to jump up into the lead as we head down towards turn number seven. A very tight and tricky corner. And we take a fair bit of curve, a bit more than we probably should have. As now the infamous turn eight really attack this corner. Then very careful across the top at turn nine and through ten. You want to get the power down as early as you can. Get the best run out of there as we're currently leading. From I don't even know who, I can't see their ghost as we're heading down towards one of the trickiest corners on this track. And it looks like it's Raffaele Marcello we're battling here as we're dropping down to fifth momentarily. We're back up to uh, first. We go into the final corner. We've changed down one too many gears. We've made a little mistake at that final corner and that is going to cost us, cost us quite a lot as we head through the left kink and the right kink. We're down to 12th place as Antonio Giovinazzi is leading. As we head up towards the line, we're gaining a little bit up to 11th, back down to 12th, up to 11th, open the DRS, coming out to the line, Giovinazzi looks set to take pole. Giovinazzi takes pole and we take P9. I think it was P9, yeah, ninth place. So a slight improvement on yesterday, but again, we're going to be starting one place outside the points essentially, because of course only the top eight finishers get points in today's sprint race, but Antonio Giovinazzi has taken pole position from Raffaele Marcello, and it's an all prima second with Charles Leclerc just being the out, and Antonio Fuoco. In fifth place is Norman Nato, and Sergei Sorokin is sixth, and he looks to have set the exact same lap time as Oliver Rowland in seventh, and today only the top seven are covered by less than a tenth of a second, with Luca Giotto just over a tenth out, then myself only 0.128 off pole, and I'm going to be starting in ninth place, it's just ridiculous how close this field is, but it's going to be interesting, we're starting a little bit higher up the grid than yesterday, one row forward to be exact, that being said though, we still not starting in a points paying position, we'll see how we go, let's jump into the sprint race. So if we have a look at the strategy for today's sprint race, it's going to be a pretty easy one. It's going to be a one-stop strategy, starting on the super softs and swapping to the soft tires. So the strategy is going to pay, play almost no role in today's race. It's all going to come down to raw pace and racecraft. And that actually suits me quite well, at least the racecraft bit, I think. But we're going to find out how we do. We're starting one place outside the points, but I think we can definitely get up into a points-paying position in today's race. We're about to find out. It's time for the sprint race in Baku. Here we go. Engage the clutch. Get the revs up to the optimal range. The lights are coming on. 
As lights out and away we go, the sprint race here in Baku is underway. We get off to an okay start. We've got Jordan King on our inside, so he can't move right across. We're going to have to go right around the outside. Roland and Nato are getting very close. Same with Sorokin. We're now going to pull to the inside of Oliver Roland in to turn number two. We make that move stick for what is currently six places. The yellow flags are out the back of the pack. Something must have happened, but that is not a concern to me right now. What is a concern is chasing down Norman Nato in his Russian time. Here we go. We're right on the back of Norman Nato. We pull to his inside. And we're going to take fifth position from the Russian times. Looks like there's a bit of squabbling going up ahead with Marcello, Giovinazzi, and Leclerc. But that is not... Actually, that is playing right into our hands. As that is really backed up for Wako. And now we are right in this pack. So we're going to go up the inside of for Wako into turn three and take... Fourth place, we've got Leclerc, Giovinazzi, and Marcello right in front of us. We're in a battle for a lead. It looks like Nato is actually trying to get past for Wako as he has had a bit of a bad run after I left him out there to dry. Here we go. Onto the pit straight. We've got the run on Charles Leclerc. We're going to pull to Leclerc's inside and try and take the last place on the podium. But we're catching up to Giovinazzi and Marcello quickly, and Giovinazzi's Going for a move on Raffaele Marcello. We're going to try and follow Giovinazzi through on his fellow Italian Raffaele Marcello. We've still got Charles Leclerc on our outside. We're going NASCAR style two by two around turn one and two. But it looks like Giovinazzi's taking the lead. Marcello is second and Marcello is now going for a move on Giovinazzi and we have nowhere to go. We're not even going to try and make this rewind. That's allowed. Charles Leclerc up our inside into turn three. We're going to hang it right around the outside. So we've still got the inside line for turn four. And we hold on to third place for now. But Marcello has taken the lead back from Antonio Giovinazzi. Alexander Alban is out of the race. I'm not too sure what has happened with him back in the pack. But it looks like there has been some sort of crap crash at turn eight. And the safety car came out. I just had a little bit of a panic attack because I was looking at the mini-map trying to tell what was happening and then I just saw Giovinazzi slowing down in front of us. But that is the safety car out. Do we pit this lap for softs? I think we have to under the safety car. We haven't really got a choice. It makes sense. We were going to pit next lap. We've got to make the most of these safety car opportunities when they come out. Use them to our advantage. I'm assuming most of the other cars will be coming in. This is going to bunch the pack up. It's going to be an interesting race. I'm not too sure what happened with Alexander Albin, but from what I saw on the minimap with my little glance at it while I'm driving around the castle section at ridiculous speeds, it, was, it looked like there was a crash at turn 8. It looks like Giovinazzi is following my plan of coming into the pit lane, but Marcello isn't, and neither are the Primas. No, one of the Primas is, and there's a fair few other cars coming in to box this lap. But I think this is the wise choice to come in right now. I'm surprised Raffaele Marcello has it. And I see the Campos guys are out. Maybe they're giving first preference to Jordan King, which makes absolutely no sense. But there we go. Clean stop. We didn't jump Giovinazzi, and we didn't get jumped by anyone. So it worked out pretty well for us. We we're still in the top 10. So that's just how many cars have pitted. And why do we have to stay? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Giovinazzi, not Latifi. Anyway, safety car out, neutralize the race for a bit. We've got our stop done, so I think me and Giovinazzi are in the best spots to win this race right now, along with uh, Norman Nato and the Primas. The other cars that stopped with us, I think Raffaele Marcello has shot himself in the foot in many ways by not actually pitting. We'll see how it all plays out once the safety car comes in. Here we go. Safety car is in this lap. End of lap six. We're about to go racing again. We're right on the back of Antonio Giovinazzi. The safety car is bolting from the field. Let's just hope Matsushita isn't leading this race. We all know what happened last time he led on a safety car restart. And it looks like it's actually Artem Markov, so we should, we should be okay to have a decent restart. We just gotta make sure we don't go so early we catch the safety car like happened. Real life last year, that was kinda chaotic. We're gonna go any second now. We're gonna be ready to go. Here we go, here we go. We're going, are we going, are we going? I think we're going, we're going. Green flag racing any second now. The greens are out as we head down towards turn number one. We're not going to be close enough to pass 
Antonio Giovinazzi down into turn number one. As I think Mark Lov, Latifi and Bernstorff are all uh, on the alternate strategy starting on the soft tyre. So I don't think they are really in, con in contention. So it looks like it's between me, Giovinazzi, Nato and Fuwako. I think there are a few more cars back but I can't see far enough back. But we're actually falling a little bit back off this pack in front of us. We need to actually catch up and stop talking. Here we go, down the pit straight, Norman Nato is pulling to our inside. We're going to duck back into his slipstream. We don't even have DRS yet. We're actually falling a little bit off Giovinazzi because of this. We're going to go back up the inside of Norman Nato and hold him what is currently fifth place. We need to really get our head down and try and catch up to Antonio Giovinazzi because he was pulling away a little bit there. I didn't have the cleanest lap getting going on these soft tires, getting them comfortable on these tires, but we need to really catch up to him now. Here we go, down the pit straight, Giovinazzi's past Latifi and Bernstorff, and it looks like those three are all pulling off into the pit lane, and now we're going to pull up the inside of Antonio Giovinazzi into turn one to take the lead of the sprint race here in Baku, and we make the move successfully for first place now that those other three cars have pulled out like I thought they would into the pit lane. Here we go, onto the start finish straight, Giovinazzi pulls to my outside now, Nato is actually bump drafting us down the pit straight, he's now going three wide I think with Nato and Giovinazzi, there goes Nato from third to first as we head down into turn one, a great move from Norman Nato and Giovinazzi has dropped down to third place, now we need to set about taking the lead back from Norman Nato. We are right on the back of Norman Nato. Can we try it around the outside? Across the top of the castle section. He's got the inside line for this very tricky corner. You can't go side by side through there. Or so I thought we managed to successfully. But I lost the back end. Just getting my right side of the car out onto that dirty stuff on the right side of that white line. But we are still right behind him as we come on to... The pit straight, We've got the eight. we will get the A to DRS, we pull to the inside of Norman Nato, we're about to open the DRS any second, we've got Giovinazzi coming from absolutely out of nowhere to take first place, we head down towards the start of uh, turn one, we're going to go back up the inside of the Italian and take first place back as we start the third last lap here in Baku. Here we go, onto the start finish straight. Yet again, here comes Giovinazzi, here comes Nato who's bump drafting us. Yet again, surely he's going to get a bit of wing damage from that. And then it looks like Nick DeFries has somehow got himself into this battle. But Nato has taken the lead of this sprint race as we start the penultimate lap. Giovinazzi is in third and I am in second. We're going to try and take the lead back from Norman Nato as soon as we possibly can. We are right on the back of Norman Nato. We're going to pull to the inside and retake the lead of the sprint race. We're now going to get the DRS, which should be enough to push us past him. We're going to get rich revs as well as we start the final lap here in Baku, and we are leading, which might not necessarily be the best place to be right now, but we're going to find out. We've got one lap left to run in Baku. Here we go around the final corner. Now it's a long straight down towards the start finish line it's the final lap who is going to win the sprint race here in Baku I am leading I've got rich revs but I'm not gonna have the aid of DRS here comes Norman Nato is he gonna get us I think he is we're gonna duck into his slipstream can we try and get back to him no we're not going to as a three abreast across the line behind us as we come across the line for second place what a finish so close. I let out of the final corner, but it wasn't enough in the end. Oh, what a race. So Norman Nato has won the sprint race here in Baku from myself in second with Nick DeFree getting up onto the podium. Fuwako took fourth and Giovinazzi actually dropped down to fifth. Just look at the margin between DeFries and Giovinazzi and Fuoco in between. It was so, so close between those three. Three abreast across the line for the last podium place with, with Nick DeFries just getting it in the end. Then Sergei Sirocco in sixth, Oliver Rowland 
seventh. Jordan King rounding out the points. Charles Leclerc finished just outside the points. Sergio Setta Camera, tenth. Louis Delatraz, eleventh. Luca Giotto down in 12th, Gustav Malia 13th, Igor Rudzev, then Rafael Marcello, like I said, I thought he had stuffed his strategy when he didn't pit straight away under the safety car, I was right, battling for the lead up until that safety car, ended up finishing the race in 15th place after starting on the front row, in 16th place was Nobuharu Matsushita, Sean Galile, my teammate up in 17th with Nicholas Latifi, who was on the podium yesterday, He's only finished down in 18th today with Emil Bernstorff behind him. Artem Markolov in 20th. 21st was Felix Sorales, the last of the finishers. And Alexander Albin, of course, did not finish the race. He was the one that caused that safety car. But what a race that was, battling throughout. It was absolutely crazy. And I, I knew I was sort of in trouble when I came out of the final corner in the lead. Like I said, I think I said earlier on in the race. It's not, you don't necessarily want to be leading out of the final corner. It's going to come down to the winner will be whoever was second out of the final corner. And that's exactly what happened with Norman Nato just taking I tried to duck back into his slipstream, but it just didn't quite work for me, unfortunately. He had the aid of DRS and he took out the race, but it was a very, very close race. Just look at it, the top seven finishers were all covered by one second in the end, which is absolutely crazy. It's almost the entire point other than Jordan King. The, all points paying positions are covered by 1.2 seconds in. That's how close that race ended up being. Absolutely crazy. Um, second place, considering we started ninth, that is actually a pretty good result. But Nick DeFreeze getting on the podium from 12th, that is rather impressive. I did not expect to see Nick up on the podium this season, but well done to him. That was a crazy race. Wow, oh wow. Drama right up into the last. So after the fourth round of the championship in Azerbaijan, I'll be heading to Austria, a very happy man with a very comfortable margin, with an 18-point lead in the championship over Raffaele Marcello in second. In third place is Norman Nato, who is six points behind Raffaele Marcello, who is now two points ahead of Oliver Rowland, who was early on championship leader. He seems to be falling back through the pack a little bit now. And Antonio Giovinazzi is starting to climb his way back into contention, now up into fifth place, only one point off Oliver Rowland and pretty close to second place. In sixth place is Luca Giotto, one, uh, three points in front of Sergei Sorokin, who is only two points in front of Jordan King, who is only one point in front of Fuoco. So that battle for the six is quite close between those four drivers. Then Nicholas Latifi rounds out the top ten, a further ten points behind Fuoco, but he has Charles Leclerc, the reigning GP3 champion, quite close behind him, only four points behind. In the team's championship, Campos still hold a very comfortable lead at 19 points over Dams, but Trident has caught up to Dams with my strong result in today's sprint race. We're now only six points off Dams. MP Motorsport are fourth, only one point ahead of Russian time in fifth. We're only three points ahead of Prima in sixth. So that battle for fourth is quite close, only four points separating those three teams. A further nine points back off Prima is ART Grand Prix in seventh, with Rapax only three points back in eighth. Then race Racing Engineering all by themselves in ninth place, a long way off any other teams. And Carlin and Arden again, rounding out the field still with no points to their name. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That was an absolutely crazy race in Baku, unlike real life in F1. Baku has actually put on a proper show. Both races have been amazing here in Baku, and that actually surprised me. That's how I thought the real races would go in real life. would be a bit more entertaining. But regardless, we had a good race today. Coming home with second, pretty good result. Like I said, leading out of the last corner is not what you want to do at Baku, and that was a perfect example of it. Second place, still a good result. Extended our championship lead, so that's all we can hope for. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I've been XFitJohn, and I'll see you all next time.